you know what? Uh, today we're going to go over something else ghastly here today. We're going to do this uh, Makuka uh, Peter Skunk footage uh, coverage here today. Uh, of course, what's her name? Jordan Peterson's daughter has finally made the move. I'm so happy that we've been slowly covering Michaela Peterson for the last year and a half, two years. I think it was ever since we saw her on Rogan. We go, something's up with this woman. And really, it was. People, uh, you know, they hate my clip. By the way, I did this clip about the Petersons called Demons, where we make fun of Michaela and her mom and all those creepy things that she did. It's like my most hated clip. I mean, it's got thousands of dislikes, and the comments are literally like this. You are a monster. This is the most toxic thing on YouTube. You should be banned. I'm reporting this. Everybody, we must report this. And it was literally because I was making fun of the family for being kooky. But in their mind, I was making fun of a family that has cancer. Well, the family doesn't have cancer, just the mom. <laughs> uh, but I'm glad I did. And I recognize that this Michaela was weird when she referred to her dad as just dad. I bring this up because there are thousands of comments in that clip I did that saying calling somebody dad is not weird at all. Disagree. Okay. Says who? You and what army? So I've been, uh, she's been on my radar ever since, and people get a big kick out of her. You know, she's the carnivore queen. She started this uh, all meat diet thing, and she swears it got rid of all her mysterious ailments. I remember a time a few months ago, somebody was just posting a random picture of her in the Bring Back group, and uh, another listener asked, he goes, man, what's with all this Michaela stuff? You guys seem obsessed. What is the deal with this? And I'm glad he asked. Because sometimes with a fool, you got to give it some time. We sat on Denny for years following his small moves, following his, because we sense, we sensed something was there. We go, this guy, there's something with him. He hasn't done anything big yet, but he will. And oh boy, has Denny been a, a blessing to the show. We got some great Denny stuff coming up for you after this, in fact. And with Michaela, it's been the same way. Uh, patience, having patience with a fool could have a great payoff. We're starting to get those payoffs here. Michaela has finally flipped the switch and gone from, eh, okay, Mike, you know, she's a little kooky, but leave her alone, to, whoa, is she scamming people? Is she actually a bad person? Were we right all along or were we just kidding? We find out today. The Lion's Lair opens now. So we know about this. We know she started calling. She's got this thing called the Meat Group. And this thing, you've heard about this, the Meat Group. And it's so funny. It's just like a Facebook group like ours. And it's all these carnivore people in there. They've, they're have they getting weird, the carnivore people. The carnivore people are almost into being sick. And they claim that they're all very, very ill they all have different diseases and that this carnivore diet has turned their lives, uh, you know, uh, complete 180. They're healthy now, which is so weird. If you're healthy now, OK, stop talking about it and go live a life of health. Be like being in a cancer forum for 15 years after you have cancer, still talking about it. Remember the time I had cancer? Oh, those were the days. <laughs> Get over it. Move on. If it's working, you've got people posted in there every day. Listen to this one. I was sick. I've been sick for years. Terrible arthritis, uh, headaches. I can't think. I can't see. I could barely walk. Bedridden. The doctors didn't know what it was. I was in terrible pain. I've been on the carnivore diet for a day now. And I got to say, I feel 100% better. This thing really works. This, These are real stories. People think one day of eating just meat is enough to cure them. And they're literally saying this. Now, I went ahead. I did the carnivore diet for, I think, 40 days, Jules. Something it like that. It did nothing. You've done your research. It did nothing. I did my, and I went full carnivore. I followed all the rules. Yep. I really did do this when it first came out because I got a lot of ailments too. I said, let me try this. It what was if torture I feel great? for me. It was torture for you. Now, <laughs> um, uh, you know, it's just like anything else. If you take all the bad stuff out of your diet, maybe the bad stuff that was causing you whatever is gone now and you're going to feel a little bit better. But 
It's definitely not reversing diseases within a day. I was on it for 40 days, felt worse. Okay? I was a mess. Uh, maybe I needed longer. But what we're talking about, we're not talking about people who have been on it for a year and they're saying they've gotten results. We're talking about people that have been on it for a week and are claiming all my ailments are gone. So she starts the meat group. This is a Facebook group. And every day we see screenshots from this meat group posted to our group because they're so funny. People boiling, people making ground beef water. <laughs> They've been on the carnivore diet for three days and they're already out of meat ideas. I mean, this really isn't a hard concept. There's like a million fine cuts of meat you could eat every day without getting bored. Some people were making frozen meat cubes that they yes. swallowed like a pill. So there'd be a guy on the diet for a week and he'd be like, you know, it's really hard coming up with uh, just meat things to eat. So I invented uh, this thing. And it's literally ground beef chopped up like taco meat in a bowl with water. <laughs> Why? Why? Why add the water? So he's showing this to his meat group, Michaela's meat group, and Michaela and all of them are are uh, congratulating him on his in inventive idea to give people another option to eat through the week. I, I really want to preface this and, and make sure this is perfectly clear to everybody. He had a bowl of ground beef. He could have just eaten that with a fork. He decided to pour in a cup of water. Why? <laughs> Why add the water? That's not a drink. That's not a soup. <laughs> he didn't cook it with the water. You don't need it. Like, and again, you're not out of options yet. It would take, I'm going to go ahead and say it's going to take three or four years before you run out of regular. I mean, you could go a year eating hamburger patties before you're like, I need some more options here. Uh, I mean, there's a lot to eat. There are a lot of cuts of meat. Go to that butcher counter. You could really make every day a different dish out of just meat. It's not that hard. But these guys, they're into the sharing. They're into the community aspect here. So they're keeping their diseases going, but at the same time saying that the carnivore diet healed them. Well, then, okay, then you don't need to be here anymore. Congratulations. Off to the world with you. But no, they're still here talking about all this stuff. And Michaela has really started an entire career around healing people. And it's been a long journey with her because she started off by telling, you know, her story. But she always said, I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not a doctor. Do not listen to me. Do not take my advice. Because it gets squirrely there, right? You got Dr. Jordan Peterson, one of the most famous doctors of our generation. His daughter is out there giving all this wacky dacky health advice that has no evidence to back it up. Okay. There's no evidence backing up that this diet works. So yeah, you got Jordan Peterson's daughter. Maybe it's not a good idea for her specifically, especially to be using that Peterson name, Dr. Peterson's name, to be giving lost souls who are in crippling chronic pain medical advice. Yikes. Not a good arena. Not a good ballpark. Now, the other thing we noticed about Michaela is that she has a daughter, a very dirty daughter. I don't say this. The daughter is filthy. The daughter needs a bath. Okay? It's always Not greasy. Not a beef bath. Not a beef a bath, bath. A real bath. She's always eating cubes of half-cooked ribeye from the air fryer. Uh, her dad is in rehab. Still, nobody has heard from the man. Okay? And uh, her husband has mysteriously vanished and we found out about this a few months ago when we realized all the selfies she was taking in her bedroom uh you could see her bed in the mirror and the bed only has one dang nightstand the bed is in the middle of the room you got one nightstand that's it so the husband what does he do with his belongings where's his alarm clock where does he keep his water well we find out the husband is left he's gone so she's single. She's out there on the prowl. And every night she showcases another fan at Barbarian's Steakhouse. She takes him to the keg. She goes to Barbarian's. Do you know these places in Toronto? The keg, Barbarian's. She goes every night. And every night she's got a picture of a $75 bone-in ribeye glistening saying, mmm, Barbarian's. And you go, who is she with? Well, it's a different guy every night, I think. 
every night, I think a new fan meets her at Barbarians. Oh, I got this. Don't worry. I got this. Oh, are you sure? Hmm. Thank you. Her and uh, little Sketchator. They eat for free. Now, um, we've made fun of all those things before. But today, Michaela has finally taken things to the next level to where, uh-oh, yikes, are you committing sinful stuff now? Let me introduce you to the newest Michaela Peterson concoction, the Lion's Lair. Here it is, the Lion Diet. Remember, she created the Lion Diet, the all-meat Lion <laughs> Diet, the Lion's Lair. Strictly limited to the first 100 fast-acting bosses only. Ooh, does this look sketchy. Does this look sketchy? Now, why is this so sketchy? Well, the lion's lair has an extremely high price point, and I think I'll show you that first before showing you some of these videos. And the man, thank you to Thomas Wabushki for introducing me to a man named Tate, who she's hooked up with. Wait till you see this. Look at this. Become a lion today. Join here. Okay, I will. Get instant access, a one-year membership to the Lion's Lair. It used to be $1,200, now only $599. Yikes. Jeez. So this is a brand, this is how you know it's a scheme. You don't got to know anything more. It says, was $1,200, now only $599. When was it $1,200? It was literally, we introduced, this was the first time it was ever introduced, $599. And you know this, man! <laughs> so she's already using this uh, scammy stuff. Let's look at the intro you video. Have to scroll all the way down to the bottom yeah, of the look page at to even see that. This is, I, I, you know, I think she went to a ghost hunter to have this website built. This is, you will only see a website like this when you visit a paranormal uh, investigator. It's designed like a Morton Steakhouse, of oh, course. Oh, okay. You know, the cursor on this page is a little ghost. Is that normal? <laughs> When my mouse is on this page, it's of a ghost. Okay, very ghost huntery. Let's watch her little intro video. Let's see what this is all about. Here we go. Hi, my name is Michaela Peterson. Wow. I've successfully treated myself for multiple autoimmune problems. Wow. Those are some, I've successfully treated myself. I don't think you could even say stuff. This is squirrely. Here she is in her date night leather jacket. Her hair has been shit lately, too, man. Hasn't her hair been bad? It's been so whack. I don't know what's going on with her hair. Her ears used to be... She's been using beef gel. Yeah. I mean, she's beef really a mess. Beef tallow. So here she, shampoo. Here she is looking like uh, the uh, Katie Seagal from Sons of Anarchy. And listen to her little intro. I haven't even heard all this. Let's hear it. Hi, my name is Michaela Peterson. I've successfully treated myself for multiple autoimmune uh -oh. problems serious Just serious Michaela, you want to drink oh she drank she does drink replaced oh. when i was 17 i was diagnosed with juvenile rheumatoid arthritis okay when i was seven i had symptoms since i was two i was diagnosed with idiopathic hypersomnia idiopathic severe chronic depression with hypomanic episodes rashes that appeared out of nowhere when i was about 18 i was itchy everywhere i was sleeping all the time this sounds like when i describe like a like a haunted house <laughs> doors that led to nowhere Windows that wouldn't open. Cabinets that screamed. <laughs> you know, uh, this all goes back. They found out that she has Lyme disease. Untreated Lyme disease. And all this stuff that she's saying is because she has Lyme disease. She, find out, she found out she has Lyme disease like a year ago. And goes, eh, this isn't really good for my carnivore thing. I really want to bring it up. Doesn't really uh, go with my carnivore thing. So I'm going to just pretend that the diet fixed all my ailments. And you know what? Maybe they did. I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt. What if they did? It's still a giant mistake to make this your career. I believe she has more to offer the world than this. I'll go ahead and say it. As Dr. Peterson's daughter. Smart girl. Fine as fuck. Probably a solid 7.6 i'm looking at a solid 7.6 you have more to offer the world than this medical stuff you know people get so cooked up when people do this i learned this a long time ago the more you know about a certain subject the more it seems like you are really interested in that subject so she's trying to heal herself and she starts learning about it. you see people do this with health all the time they become like health guys after a while it's like this isn't you we're seeing it with politics now 
You've got guys that are so invested in the day to day with Trump and all this stuff that all of a sudden they're political experts and that's what they want to do now. Don't go that direction. Run away from it. When you start feeling that happening, you're not a doctor. You're not a nutritionist. You're not going to save anybody's life. Stop with that hustle. You could do a better service to the world with something else. Let's hear this. When I was about 18, I was itchy everywhere. I was sleeping all the time. Have you ever felt like you were born into a life that was heading in the wrong direction? Everything I do seems to be wrong. Everything I do turns out wrong. My life was going downhill fast. And when I was 20, I realized it was going to kill me. And I'm not just saying that. Hip replacements as a teenager. I had the worst arthritis that my rheumatologist had ever seen. In this is her music. Years of being a rheumatologist. <laughs> so she puts this in. She refuses to mic herself or shoot this in any nice professional way. But yet she wants to charge $600 for stuff like this. So we get it. So what are you selling here? What do we get for $600? I can't wait to find out. Well, let's see the announcements. You know, this video is kind of stupid and long. Let's see her little um, Instagram story announcing the new Lion's Lair group because this is where she really communicates with most of her people. They've really latched on to her. You know, we've got a combination. You've, You've got actual sick people. You've got people interested in the carnivore diet. You've got a ton of Jordan Peterson fans just interested in anything, she says. And you've got a lot of guys. Ooh, I've been studying Dr. Jordan Peterson's lectures for the last year. Ooh, he's got this daughter. Ooh, I could cuddle up to her. I could get close. Oh, when she goes live on Instagram, ooh, she reads my chats. She's got a love connection with a bunch of these boys. Now, uh, let's watch her Instagram stories about this, announcing the new lion's lair. There she is looking beautiful. Is this the full uh, tape here? Let's see. The Lion's Lair. Let's start with Michael Galanis taped this from her Instagram story again, looking like Katie Seagal. Let's hear her music. Made a new club called the Lion's Lair. Ooh, I made a new club called the Lion's Lair. She's good at this, too. She knows doing this on Instagram stories gets people really hooked when she speaks to them through this direct direct connection. connection there. So watch this. She's all done up, ready to go to Barbarians Steakhouse. I like Barbarians in Toronto. Great logo. (laughs) It's been there since 1953. Did you know that? Well, they got a great bone in here. Okay, guys, I've made a new club called the Lion's Lair for people who really, really want to optimize their lives. So you've got the meat group. You've got your Instagram. You've got all these other things where we've been communicating with you and getting all the info. But now if you really, really want to optimize... Those were only for people who really wanted to optimize. But if you really, really want to optimize, we're going to need that 600. Exactly. This is really odd. What are we going to get for this 600? Let's find out here today. It'll have direct access to me. I'll literally just be on my phone in that group. And I've been looking for something kind of like this because... I've been trying to help people over Instagram and over Facebook, and it's really hard to connect. I get a whole Hmm. bunch of DMs. I get emails from people who want- So I really, really want to help people, but it's been so hard to to connect because I get too many people. Now, why would a person like this have such a drive to need to connect personally with all these people? You see her do it all the time on uh, Instagram. She's always showing people's personal progress photos. I was a big fat slob, and then I stopped eating all bread and sugar, and one year later, I'm thin. Bravo. Who would have thought? I don't know if necessarily the carnivore diet has anything to do with this, (laughs) but cutting everything else out surely did. Now, I believe you can survive on just meat. I don't even think it's that crazy. I really don't. Um, I believe, and she's doing it. I mean, she's obviously doing it. I don't think it's that crazy. People told me I was so crazy when I was doing it. I believe in it. I get it. I think it makes total sense. But what do you need to coach people through? The diet is just eat meat. There you go. There's one rule. Uh, the, the book should be one page long. There should be no price tag on this information. Eat meat. See how you feel. Let us know. <laughs> there you go. There doesn't need to be a discussion about it daily. There doesn't need to be uh, a sharing of information other than Am I alive? 
You know, and I learned this from a dog. You've got a uh, when you get a dog, you realize how simple these beings are to keep alive. <laughs> People always warn you, "Oh, a dog, it's a lot of commitment." No, it's not. You literally take the cheapest food ever, one dollar a month worth of food, pour it into a bowl. If the dog eats that food, guess what? He lives to see the next day. And it's just dots. I look at my dog's food, it's just circles. <laughs> and he's fine. What's in there? Believe me, it's not a nutritious blend. It's probably just meat scraps. Blend it up with some grain to fill it out. So now imagine taking away the grain and just eat the meat. There you go, you're fine. You really don't need much. I mean, there are a lot of people living without water. They're just drinking Cokes every day. I saw it. I saw my roommate in college. Two years I lived with this guy. One and a half years. Two years. He did not have water once. I'm not kidding when I say this. Jesus. He drank only Coke. So obviously there's water and Coke or you die. He was fine. I mean, he looked terrible. He was <laughs> really like he looked like that kid who always pukes on the bus in The Simpsons. Remember that in The Simpsons, they had a kitty. We sat in the front of the bus. He was a nerd. He was puke. I called him Barf Bucket. I don't know what, if that's his name. That's what my roommate looked like. He was pale white. He was from Alaska. He looked sick. You'd go into his room. It'd be You'd be blinded by the red, silvery lights of the Coke can glare. <laughs> He'd keep all the cans. He never threw them away. Two liters, Coke cans, long Cokes, short Cokes, big Cokes, Santa Cokes. Uh, you know, uh, and he was fine. So you could live off really anything. Just put something in your mouth daily. You'll be fine, I think, pretty much. All right. Let's hear her promises here today. Because this gets a little sketchy. Else from people who want to improve their lives and don't know how to get in touch with me. And they know how to get in touch. I don't have enough time to respond to all the emails then don't and, the respond. DMs and everything. And I'm then make a video. You know what I mean? So she's trying to set this up like, I want to help people, but only people that have $600. As if that's like an excuse to charge $600. It really doesn't add up. Really feeling like I'm missing out on a lot of people. Check it out. This is a group full of people who are really interested in optimizing their lives, meeting like-minded individuals. We're going to have twice yearly events wow. that will take place in wild places. I'm thinking... Romania or Thailand what? or something crazy. Oh my God, wait, I didn't even hear that part. That's even crazier. <laughs> Join the group today for only the low price of $5.99. You get nothing. You get access to me, Jordan Peterson's daughter. I'll give you tips from my bedroom about eat meat. That's it. And then we're going to have events yearly. I'm thinking wild places like Romania. So you have to pay for your ticket to Romania. So now I got to go to fucking Romania for what? <laughs> to eat some weird cut of beef? Why would anyone want to go to Romania? And you know, she spends a lot of time. Two weeks out of the year, she'll be in Moscow. You go, what the fuck are you doing in Moscow? And then three weeks out of the year, I'm in Romania. Why? What is going on in all these odd countries? <laughs> this is like Homeland. I think she's like the girl from Homeland. But we don't know she's CIA. She's got all these apps she's got to go to. You want to go to Romania 600? I want to change some of this online interaction that I've been having with people into actual real life interaction. And I've been missing the social connection that you get with actually talking to people. So I'm really looking forward to this group as a way to actually connect with people who really want to improve their lives really want to change things, maybe need a support group, kind of like an external family. Oh. Priced it high enough to get rid of the trolls. and the Priced it high enough to get rid of the trolls. So this is what she's saying. So what are the trolls? Well, a lot of you guys have infected this meat group <laughs> by giving some bad faith false information. So a lot of red bar people, what they like to do, they'll go into the meat group and they'll be like, Hey guys, just started the carnivore diet two days ago. I feel great now. I've been eating a lot of, uh, you know, and they'll make a joke. Human flesh. Human flesh, uh-huh. <laughs> and they'll see who goes along with it, you know, so they, they troll the meat group. She's going to use this price point as a reason. I now, don't think why that can't the there people be that are paying care about the trolls? No, also. and so it's like the trolls, I've been watching this whole thing, like the trolls in her group aren't really affecting anything. It's just a joke and everyone knows they're trolls and 
they get out of there. So this is an excuse. And the trolls aren't stopping Michaela from connecting no. with these people. And none of her other users complain about the trolls. Only Michaela cares. Exactly. So charging her users $600 because there's trolls is a double fuck you to the to the other users. Here. High enough to get rid of the trolls and the people who harass me because I'm Jordan B. Peterson's daughter. Harass? Or I'm on an all-meat diet. Uh, and I'm trying to really focus in on people who really want to optimize their lives and want to meet more like-minded people. Meet. So I'm hoping that this will kind of move the whole digital thing I've been experiencing to something that's more real, more family-oriented-ish, and just kind of a room full of people who want to be bosses, basically. People so who want to be bosses. swipe up to check it out. <laughs> Do you hear this terminology? Now, where did you get this terminology? Do you want to be a boss? Do you want to be a badass boss? Then join the Lions. Look at this. Strictly limited to the first 100 fast acting badass bosses only. Jesus. You would only write that if you were a bad person. Ready to go from struggling and feeling drained to being filled with high energy and loving your life? Is that a guarantee? Click to play. I'm going to read this to you. I haven't even read this. Access the one resource I wish I had when I was battling autoimmune arthritis and fast track your path to the body and life you've always dreamed of. The Lion's Lair, the unique answer for committed and driven bosses who want to live a healthier life. From the desk of Michaela, Queen of the Lion's Den, Peterson. Does your body not work the way you want it to? Do you look in the mirror? And not really like what you see? Do you spend each day battling brain fog? Or do you want to live a carnivore life, but struggle to stay on track? If so, this might be the most important thing you've ever read. Let me tell you a story. This is how the website reads. <laughs> My name is Michaela Peterson. A lot of people call me the queen of the lion's diet. Weren't no. we the ones who started calling her the meat queen? We and started making, I'm not kidding. We started making memes calling her meat queen. No one has ever called her the queen of the lion's diet. We made memes calling her meat queen, meat queen. Does it sound so stupid? So she goes, oh yeah, meat queen. Yeah, I guess I'm the queen of the lion's diet. I learned this name after many online talks about changing your life by changing your diet. Oh, I earned this name after many online talks about changing she your life. She couldn't hire a copywriter Listen for that to 600. How it's this so is written so terribly. <laughs> Listen to this line. I earned this name after many online talks about changing your life by changing your diet. What? Isn't it amazing when you see people who write bad and you don't even look at yourself as a good writer, but you go, this is horrible. Like when Josh Denny writes, you go, this is really clunky. I mean, you shouldn't notice. No, you should never notice bad writing. I mean, everybody should know how to write by now. We do it all day, every day. It's not like back in the day before the internet, if you were, uh, you didn't write every day, right? You only you wrote in college yeah, and you only emails. Wrote. We're writing every day. You should be, this. Year, you should have this down. Look at this. Um, you can literally copy and paste anything you write into the Grammarly app to check if it makes I sense. I mean, you shouldn't even have to check. Just no. fucking scribble it down and it should read as, you know, normal. And my famous feature on the Joe Rogan podcast, which amassed 1.5 million views. The knowledge I shared on these talks changed thousands of lives. Each day I received DM after DM from people saying they went from struggling with chronic illness to thriving and living the life of your dreams. Isn't that not right? <laughs> Each day I received DM after DM from people saying they went from struggling with chronic illness to thriving and living the life of your dreams. <laughs> Shouldn't it be their dreams? Yes, certainly. Is she, so she's this stupid. <laughs> this is Dr. Peterson's daughter. And literally, she's writing sentences like donkey lips. Michael Ray Bauer, I mean, I'm really, I didn't read this. I didn't proofread this. Me neither. This is really disturbing. It's almost like, and then, of course, the was $1,200, now 600 It's almost like scam websites go out of their way to give you an out. It's almost like scammers. 
it might be like uh, unbeknownst to them and they might be doing it subconsciously where they give you an out like when i troll people i try to give them an out letting them know hey it's this a is joke. a fucking joke what if scammers subconsciously like make a bunch of errors so only stupid people are the ones doing it saving the smarts because if you're smart and you read this you go wow 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 this is bad no smart person would read this and go oh where do i give you my six listen to this this or goes you on you want to make sure that only the dumbest people fall for your scam so they'll never get one you over know what on you and i'm a little like worried that. here right now we're going to look at this tate guy who i guess the, we have this listener named thomas and he keeps bringing up this guy tate who he says trained Michaela on how to do one of these schemes. Like this is a practice that is taught by other guys. This whole website and the whole formatting of this website could very well be a deliberate scheme. So yeah, someone says that's actually what they do. It's specifically wow. to weed out smart people. Because they don't want smart people involved in their scheme because the smart people will bust their exactly. scheme. So they only... And she went to Romania to study this with some guy named Tate. We're going to go over this, too. Listen, I start every show as a gag, as a joke. It seems to be coming true right in front of our eyes, just like always, that whenever we pick up on somebody, it turns out they are who we thought they were. <laughs> Listen to this. Let's go on. The knowledge I shared of these talks changed thousands of lives. Each day I received DM after DM from people saying they went from struggling with chronic illness to thriving and living the life of your dreams. But it wasn't always like this. Here's the story. And we know her story. She feels better than ever. Nice I'm not going to read all that. Juxtaposition look at this and look how she <laughs> writes it too. A font you can barely read. On a black background. I mean, this thing really looks like a Dracula website. <laughs> So we know her story. She's 27. She's had all these health problems. She started eating meat. Now she claims she's fine. Okay. Uh, the lion diet that healed me works for everyone. Oh. I wow. Look at that. Well, How can you the say claim. that? The lion diet that healed me works for everyone. <laughs> this lion diet. This is really getting crazy here. I don't think that you're even supposed to say stuff like that. No. I swear I haven't seen it not work for people who are disciplined enough to stick to listen to these lines I swear this is what she's writing i swear and this is the front page this is before you click buy now <laughs> i swear i haven't seen it not work for people who are disciplined enough to stick to it wow but i had to stop doing the consultations i just don't have the capacity and the time well, she had to stop doing the consultations because she's not a nutritionist. Exactly. Isn't that how about what she mind your own said? fucking business? Get a job, lady. I get DMs on Instagram and hundreds of emails and FB messages, and I can't get to them all. And this is all written like a fucking onomatopoeia, where one line it's one line after another, like lyrics for a rap song. <laughs> Like, if you go to rapgenius.com, it's laid out like this. I've never seen a paragraph written like this. You might be able to click uh, all those lines and see what they really mean. She has become an arch fool. Arch fool. Yes, this is what I'm saying. We took little Michaela, little sweet Michaela, who we were just teasing, has actually become a villain. A villain. A villain. <laughs> Wouldn't it be cool if I'm the third echo after you yelled out it was slightly different? Ooh happened to me what's going on jules you pointed over nope. here you didn't keep that finger up your pussy like i said sorry i want that finger up your pussy kept it where it's we did say keep it in that pussy all right the people on youtube are gonna love that pussy part right <laughs> he's crazy i also just can't spend my life on social media that's not a boss life what is with the inclusion of this boss thing this is the third boss so Remember, she went, and we're going to cover this guy coming up soon. It looks like she went to a scheme trainer in Romania who taught her the ways of the scheme. And he's like, these people and he's like, like come to be up. referred to as boss. Well, now he's like, come up with a buzzword that you could continue to call people that makes them feel like they're cool. And she's like, how about bosses? That's perfect. I've used that one many times. Look at this. That's not a boss life. 
Who wants to be a boss? Nobody wants to be. Being a boss, it sounds incredibly horrible nowadays. Sounds you can't stressful. Even, you can't meet to anyone. You got to be on the up and up 24-7. <laughs> Being a boss was cool in 1985. Being a boss now is incredibly stressful. What you want to be is rich and out of people's sights. That's what you want to be. You don't want to be in charge of anyone. You don't want anyone depending on you. Listen to this. We shouldn't be a slave to anything. Whether it's food, illness, or social media. So I've really been thinking, how do I find these people who really need me and are willing to do anything to get better? Jeez, wow. yeah, wow, so you're admitting. This is like she confuses <laughs> what she types to her like partner in crime and what she types publicly. Look we at need this. people who are willing to do anything, even pay $600 yes. for nothing. These people who send me 10 emails asking for consultations... The people with no support system to get better, but the drive to do it by themselves. I want to hang out with those people. I want to give them guidance that I wish I had. People with an inner drive to solve their problems no matter what. People who want to just nail living life. People who want to thrive. My kind of people. Lion people. You don't write this way. You know what I mean? Especially out of context on a sell sheet, on a website, <laughs> on a landing page. This is so bizarre. I get people reaching out and they go, hey, I have this health issue. I want to lose 40 pounds. And I tell them what to do. And I tell them to message me if they need support. And they say, yeah, but I like pizza. And that is a huge waste of my time. I don't want to talk to those people. That's what she's writing. <laughs> I want to talk to the people no, that I'm not you. making this stuff up. I want to talk to people who have suffered and are absolutely fucking done with it. Whoa. Oh my God. Fucking. I only want to talk to people that are, that are suffering and that are <laughs> fucking done with it. Wow. Shit. I thought this was a professional she is weird. This is weirder than I never read any of this. I'm reading this for the first time with you. She's officially weird. Don't feel bad. This is like a kook. A Cana uh, these Canadians are the Gavin McInnes, Stephen Crowder, Lauren Southern, her. Why do they have such an interest in our fucking America? Get out of here. Seriously. Do this in Canada. This might be subtle, low-key Canadian warfare. <laughs> Sending all these people here, confusing us. I mean, like, every problem celebrity is from fucking Canada nowadays. Are they being sent in here? Has Red Bar been infiltrated? Get out of our country for a second. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Fucking Canadians and their ideas about a country they don't live in. Imagine if I did this. Went to another country and started laying down the law. Get out of here. Kooky Canadians. <laughs> All right, look at this. Um, I want to talk to people who haven't suffered but still have the drive to be a boss. Some people have the drive, but they've been hit over the head with life so much that they need some support. I want those people. We don't need to know which kind of people you want. That's weird. Look at this. So I'm offering that support in what I'm calling my lion's lair. It's a group of people who are driven to improve their lives. And I want to see what can happen when they optimize themselves. You have no idea. You get healthy and you change your mindset and doors open everywhere. Opportunities become endless. Life gets insane when you're not half dead. The people in the lion's lair are superhumans or trying to be. And they will get there because I can actually devote some time to helping them. Particularly if I know they're motivated. Each day we talk online about having a better life. It's essentially being coached by me personally. This is so bizarre. And it's 600 bucks. Here's what you get when you join us inside the lion's lair today. Daily check-ins with the group. Each day I'll check in with you to ensure that you're sticking to your goals and help give you pointers along the way. Daily meal ideas and instructions so that you never not know what to eat again. Jesus. I know. <laughs> Changing diets can be challenging. What do you cook? How do you cook it? Luckily, when you join Lion's Den today, I'll always have an abundance of super yummy meals for you to choose from. 
No, I nope. think there's only one. I, I have followed you for three stinking years <laughs> on Instagram, and literally you put a boneless ribeye in your air fryer every day, shut the drawer, let that sucker go for 11 minutes, it comes out terrible, and then you eat it in cubes. Yeah, it's not even like she's a chef that's teaching no. you how to do this in a super yummy way. Yes. <laughs> eat meat. There's your advice. Listen Doesn't to this. matter how it tastes. Um, ask me anything. You'll have the ability to ask me anything whenever you want. From life advice to diet advice to travel advice. I've been to Romania. No, I had a bet. <laughs> I got you covered. So what if 100 people do sign up for this? She has to be messaging back and forth with 100 people per day. That's, That's impossible. Insane. That's too many to handle. Two in-person meetups per year. This Jesus. is where this is scary. Two in-person meetups per year. Now, Melton actually ran something like this. I'll tell you about that later. Look at this. Two in-person meetups per year. Twice a year, we'll meet in a location for fun activities. Enjoy some great food and have great conversations. Help to accomplish the change you want to see in yourself, health-related or otherwise. Tips and tricks I've learned after almost 10 years of research and finally successfully eliminating an autoimmune disorder. Support through lifestyle changes. 10 years of research, huh? That's misleading. It yeah, wasn't very, scholarly no. research. The carnivore diet just came out six days ago. <laughs> Exclusive membership to the Lion's Lair Inner Circle, your 24-7 coaching group. Here's an important additional bonus that comes with this membership. A community of experts, beginners, fitness experts, diet experts from all around the Who world. Who are the diet what? experts? Where? Who are these guys from all around the world? I'd like to see their credentials. All I know is you and you do everything from your bedroom. One night stand. In this private coaching group, you'll get access to my personal inner circle who will also contact you as personal support groups. They're there to give you advice and support whenever you need it, 24-7, 365. That's a tough thing. Even to on Christmas? Wow. Uh, please, every, I might sign up and just message these guys on Christmas. Christmas Eve? Hi, unknown inner circle. I need your help, please. It's like the, uh, kind of like Captain Planet. You know, <laughs> you call for him and he comes. They're there to give you advice and support whenever you need it. They're there to help you pick out your meals, change your lifestyle, answer any questions you might have, and celebrate your success right along with you. It's like having a thousand mentors on speed dial whenever you need them. Wow. Your inner circle is filled with a thousand mentors? Yikes. House of a thousand maniacs. That way you'll never feel like you're going in it alone. Maybe she means you can only access her on July 24th on the year 365. Yeah, could be. Which has passed. 100 people will join the lair today. Will you be one of them? I won't lie to you. This is what it says. I can't just let anyone in. I want to help people turn their lives around. I want to help fix people who need to be fixed. I don't want to waste my time. So this is going to be it, the lion's lair. Don't join if you're not interested in really optimizing your life. I don't really want to hang out with people who don't try. It doesn't interest me. I want people who truly want to change their lives. People who want to make themselves and their family proud. Do you want to change your life forever? The lion's lair is for you. I am horrified. <laughs> As far as I can see, you have two options. This is what she says. Either you could keep going in the direction you're headed and hope everything works out someday, or you could take action. The next step to a bigger, brighter future for you and your family. It's up to you to decide. You should know this. Several years ago, I stood at a similar crossroads. And let me tell you, if I had not taken action, I don't know where I'd be. It was only by taking action. And whenever I yell, it's because she's capitalized the whole phrase. Jeez. It was only by taking action, changing my lifestyle and diet, that I was able to rise up out of a situation I hated to create this life for myself. You've come this far. It's time to make a decision. Jeez, how long does this If you on? have ever had an inkling or a feeling 
that I made this lion's lair just for you, then click the link below when prompted. <laughs> if the page loads successfully, your spot is still open today. Put your name and information on my list and you'll gain instant access to the lion's lair and everything else I've promised. Oh, I love instant access. Yes. I've done everything I can to show you how quickly and easily this membership can change your life. Now the ball is in your court. Click the link below again. <laughs> Click the link below to see if your spot is available. If the page loads, congrats. Spots are still available and you made it in. I'll see you on the other side. I look forward to working with you. Click the button below. If the sign-up page loads successfully, your spot... I'm not rereading. She's mentioned this three herself. times now. Become a lion today. Join here. Get inst And I did. So this has been up for over a week. Spots are still available. So it didn't We're one of the hundred. Join now. Get instant access. A one-year membership was twelve hundred dollars now only five ninety nine for the first hundred so we have not hit a hundred because it still works wow we i did click the link here it is folks it's open so there she is manically we've got some more videos let's hear some more uh videos here uh from her so uh she put this up and it did not go so well in her regular free meet group they revolted. Let me show you some of this stuff. People were turning. People were mad. Look at this. Here's one from Charlie Collins. This is Charlie, a girl. I love this name, Charlie. Okay, Charlie Collins says, products I would pay for too. I'm not paying 600 for access to someone. What sort of desperado would? <laughs> wow. I call people that. People that are desperate, I call them desperados. This girl could come work for me. Look at this. What sort of desperado would? We don't need access to her in order to diet and fast. She listed all the reasons it would benefit her, but I fail to see any benefit to those who would join unless they think they'll get to bone her or her dad puke face. Wow. Charlie's not mad, happy. And they've never talked to her in this manner before. Let's read some more here. We got some more. Charlie rules. I love her. It's Thomas Wabanunuski. He says this, uh, let's see this, uh, super disappointed, huge fan of yours, Michaela. Now, not so sure. It's from yeah. a user. Here's another one. Guess I'm taking down my Michaela's Peterson posters, LOL, says wow. another user. Look at this. They're not so happy. So mad they don't even want to look at her bikini shots nope, not anymore. not even that big fat <laughs> that meaty fucking <laughs> Let's look at this one. Uh, the <laughs> did you wait a minute? Uh, twenty. You'll see this in the YouTube count. Twenty one fifty nine. Did he just say meaty fucking? Uh, what is with this guy? <laughs> yes. Have you seen that? She's got a fupa down there. Where Michaela Peterson goes, it bulges out. I don't like that. I don't like when I you see a girl in their underwear on Instagram. And it's got a little bulge. You don't like a pubic mound. I don't like a mound. I like a flat surface. Sheesh. The website, oh, here's another guy, Ron, and this is what Ron is saying. Look at this. The website and the wording seems sketchy to me. Seems like a sleazy infomercial. And the domain name was just registered today. So she hasn't put any thought into this. This all happened like this. I wouldn't trust putting my credit card information into an unknown brand new page. Okay, freak. <laughs> Maybe Michaela's Facebook page got hijacked, they're saying. So it's so unbelievable they thought she got wow. hacked. That's amazing. No, nope. somebody's saying, nope, her story on Instagram is all about this new page. It's her. It's her. You don't want your fans going, nope, it's her. <laughs> it's her. Here's another one. Look at this. Super disappointed. Huge fan of yours. Oh, we read that one. Same boat. She says this, like most of the carnivore gurus do it to spread the message, not to build their wallet. It's not even the money that bothers me. It's the lack of uh, reciprocal value. What is in it for those who join? Michaela Peterson isn't a nutritionist or anything at all officially. There's no reason people should have to pay access to her unless it was for nefarious reasons. These are her fans. So Michaela saw all this terrible feedback. So think about little Michaela. She's bleaching her hair. She's spazzing out. Running through probably $600 worth of red lipstick per day. You know, putting that on all day, every day. And 
she launches this group. She thinks it's going to be a big hit. Now, remember, there's only 100 spots there, so she needs 60K. 599 times 100, that's about 60K. So what does she need this money for? She thought this was going to be a big lump sum, big payday. She launches this and is a guy who's launched stuff before. What you want to do is you want to launch something new and everybody goes, we Yay. love it, which is what happens to me almost 100% of the time. It really hurts if you launch something and everybody is not only not into it, but accusing you of being a scammer. Even Yikes. seeing one accusation really hurts the old feelings. So she takes to Instagram after seeing these negative comments, and there are many more than that. Those were just a sampling of the negative comments. And she decides to turn on the waterworks. Yep. Oh, no. The girl tears come out. We've got video of this. She starts crying on Instagram, and let me tell you, this worked. It got some people back on her side. Would you like to see Michaela crying? Now, she is doing this in what's called a brassiere. She decided to do this video while in her bra. A lot of guys see a crying girl with the red lipstick, the blonde hair, and a bra, and they're going, oh, let me just come over there. Oh, it's okay, Michaela. You know what? Here's the 600. So let's see this. The bad Boris K. I said this. That's the when, good Boris K. You know, but the bad Boris K, when he heard about this lion's lair, there's a scene of the bad Boris K going to his local ATM, putting in his card, entering his thing, and then hitting the button that says, would you like to see your available account balance? He was short three bucks. No. Oh. He had 596. He really wanted to be in it. And the ATM fee just put him over. He couldn't get it. Her hair looks good here, though. Ah, uh, let's see. Here she is <laughs> crying. Let's see if she won any of you guys back. So I got a bunch of flack yesterday for making a group. Lion's Lair, I'm linking it. <laughs> I love how she says this. Wait, listen to this. So I got a bunch of flack yesterday for making a group Lion's Lair. <laughs> That's not what the flack was this about. This is your giant big moment. First of all, this would be like... It's such a casual way to update people. So I got a bunch of flack for making a group lion's lair. See how stupid that sounds? <laughs> Do I need to like really spell that out? Listen how dumb this sounds. So I got a bunch of flack yesterday for making a group lion's lair. I'm linking it. And <laughs> I got a bunch of flack. Uh, update about how am I doing? Well, yesterday I got a bunch of flack for making a group lion's lair. Normally when there's a company launch that costs yeah. a ton of money to join, it's a big event in your yeah, life. Yeah, and everybody Not knows about making this. a group. So listen to this. So I got a bunch of flack yesterday for making a group <laughs> Lion's Lair. I'm linking it and making the price point high to get in. And I was feeling kind of guilty about it. Oh. But then today I made the group live and the stories, like some of the stories people have totally are totally overwhelming. And they made it okay that they spent 600 the, so she, what she's trying to do is being like, but the stories you had about how much you're suffering are so great. Okay, so you should give them free access. Now they're suffering and they need to come up with $600. That's worse. I don't understand. This would only work on a complete re to say, listen, I felt guilty about charging you so much, but your stories about how sick you are really good. So I thank you. What? <laughs> Give them free access if you feel so ho horrible about their health. I, I don't understand this. This doesn't, the two and two don't add to four. But then today I made the group live and the stories, like some of the stories people have totally, are totally overwhelming. Yeah. Like it's really easy to take your health for granted once you're better. I haven't had severe symptoms of autoimmune disorder or mood problems in a very long time and you forget pain when you don't have any so i don't really care if i get the flack for the group i still think it was a good idea and i oh. think it will bring support to some people who need it and i'm thankful for being reminded of how hard some people have it what? the other thing about this group is it's actually going to enable me to have some passive income oh. so that i can spend more money producing content I spend more money producing content. Okay, that's great. But 
the content that she's put out, it's all filmed on an iPhone in her bedroom. Information, it doesn't need to be produced any better than that. You've put out how many talks, how many videos, how many, it's all there. What else must we need to know? So what do you need this 60 grand for to produce what content? And believe me, we're going to make sure you produce this content now. <laughs> now you really got to produce some baller ass content. I haven't put out this microbiome video that I wanted to put out a while ago that a whole bunch of people have been reaching out saying like, I'm just in the hospital with issues. And I actually just tell us now, that. don't hold the secrets back for cash. Just tell us what does the microbiome thing do? Oh, uh, well, you uh, just eat meat. Okay. Is there <laughs> anything else I should do? Uh, stick to eating meat. Okay. So don't make, don't use that money for a video. I'd rather you go to Barbarians, get a nice steak. I'd honestly rather her spend it on herself than throw it away making fake videos <laughs> about microbionisms. And I haven't had time to put it together because I don't have assistance or anything and I have a different job, so... <gasps> The money is... Listen to that. I don't have time to put the videos together. That's why I need this money. I well, have a different job. How are you going to have time to answer 100 people a yeah, day on all their meat questions? Exactly. You're making this even harder. So the money is going to be reinvested into making more content. Um, so this is like I uh, was in a mental hospital once. <laughs> I was in a mental hospital once and I had a friend of mine bust me out. So he showed up to the mental hospital with a gun and he goes, everybody get out! Busted me out, took me out. We get into the car and we're fleeing away from the mental hospital and we're on the run for like three days, right? And I haven't eaten, I'm starving and I've got nothing. I'm still wearing my hospital gown for God's sakes. And I go, please, can we get some food? And he goes, I don't have any money. And I go, what do you mean you don't have any money? What the hell? And he goes, well, I spent all my money on the gun the bullets, the gas. And I go, shut up, enough. And this reminded me, the way she said it was exactly like how my friend said it when I said, why don't you have any money for food? He said, I spent all the money on the gun and the bullets and the car gas. <laughs> well, okay, now what do we do? <laughs> so uh, let's hear that again. She spent all her money on what? Going to be reinvested into making more content. Um, so yeah. Anyway, I'm over my tear fest, but oh. holy cow, do some of those people have intense things they're getting through. Um, but I kind of appreciate the, the money? reality check. It's oh. nice to remember. It's good to remember how bad things were. No, it's not. At one point. So check out the group oh. if you're interested. The money is going to towards making more content. YouTube, mainly Instagram. Um, yeah, and helping people heal. Whoa! So she was crying because everybody hated it and decided, you know what, don't waste these tears. Let's use them to try to get more sales, more signups. Very disturbing. I think we have some more uh, footage from her today. Um, the next day, let's cut to her the next day. So she posts the crying video, but let's uh, take a look the next day and see where she was at. Um, the very next day. Uh, don't worry, the meat queen's got a lot of... Thanks to all the people who joined. Is she still wearing the bras? Is this the right those video? are the ones you just watched. Those are the ones I just watched. So where's the very next day video? That's what I'm looking for. I think they're all in the same thread. That's why I'm uh, using the money to produce. That's the one we just watched, right? So where's this next day -er? The cat came back the very next day. Okay, we saw that. Six more comments. Where's the next day video? Oh. Another short update. No, I thought Boris one had... Boris put one up, and he said, the next day. Let's see what this is. Here. Come on. There, I put together... Um, okay, she smiled. Is this different? Day. Yeah. Here we I'm go. The next day. This new Today is a better day. It's hard to tell, because it looked like she was still wearing the bra, but this is, in fact, uh, a tank top. Bra. Tank top, yeah. Sports bra. She looks beautiful today. Let's hear what she says. Today is a better day. I'm still enjoying this new lion's lair I oh, put together. Look how happy uh, she is. There are a whole bunch of women in there. Oh. I thought it was going to be men because a bunch of my followers are men, but there are actually a whole bunch of women in there too, Ooh, which is cool. I should get in there. There's chicks in there. That sounds like quite a party. What am I missing? Ooh, is it all text-based? <laughs> Ooh, I can't wait to see chicks writing. That's better than uh, just guys writing. 
uh, and I'm not as teary as yesterday. Yesterday I was reading some of the stories and look at this and then it flashes on the screen text <laughs> using money to produce content. <laughs> yeah, so while she's saying this, she has a flashing update that says using the money to produce content. Don't fret. <laughs> Watch this. There are men, but there are actually a whole bunch of women in there too, which is cool. Uh, and I'm not as teary as yesterday. Yesterday I was reading some of the stories and literally cried. Um, but I'm much more solid t today. Um, I'm going to be using the money to produce more content oh. that will be up on YouTube for free and Instagram and everything. So I do appreciate the support. And I'm looking forward to actually maybe putting a team together to produce more content. Wow. Look at that. Now, we got word that 20 people have joined. She actually posted something saying 20 people have joined. Okay, we're going to keep up to date with those numbers. We're going to keep checking in. I wanted to take a quick look at this guy. Let's just put him on our radar. This is the guy that apparently she got the idea from. Now, I know nothing about this. I don't know how people uh, know about this guy. Mr. Plenty, is that his name? Tate something? At of Wudan on Twitter? I go where I want and I do what I want. I'm like Indiana Jones with a whole lot of sex and supercars. This is possible because I make money no matter where I am. In the free webinar below, I'll show you how you could replicate what I do. And apparently it's some sort of Magneto type of guy. What did they call this guy? Mysterio? Remember there was a love guru? Now this is the guy that she apparently is no, working with. she met with. up with him in Romania. How do you know this? Because she posted a picture with him. Oh, this is the guy who was jacking yes, off. Yes, yes. She went to Romania, met up with this guy who's got a long history of self-help, love guru. He also uh, was a magician at one point, right? He did like <laughs> a whole Chris Angel type of, he was an illusionist. He did illusions. Here, I'll find the picture of them together. Yeah, for you. remember that? We looked at that picture and it's a very suggestive, horny picture. Let's watch what this guy is like. Let's see. Come on. He's smoking a stogie, a cigar. Madlack. Madlack is a town on the edge of Romania and Hungary. I'm here because McLaren have sent a truck from Stuttgart to collect my McLaren. They can't collect it in Romania, so I've driven to the nearest. So he's one of these guys. You see this? There's like a million Instagram accounts for guys like this. You want a McLaren? You want a Maserati? You want a Bugatti? You better work, bitch. <laughs> you want a Martini? That line always in that Britney Spears song. I love that one. She's like, you want a Bugatti? You want a Maserati? You want a mansion? You gotta work. But then she has one line where she goes, you want a Martini? <laughs> you better work, bitch. It's like, Martinis are like eleven ninety nine. Yeah, I could really make one for almost free. <laughs> uh, so he's one of these guys, and there's a lot of losers online that like literally just look at these Instagram pages where it's just like one day they post like a really expensive car, and the next day they post a picture of a yacht, and the next day it's a picture of a watch, and then the next day it's a picture of like a James Bond type woman getting her dress unzipped by a guy in a luxury hotel. And they're like, ooh, the lifestyle. Oh, I would love to have this lifestyle. <laughs> and they listen to guys like this who promise the keys to that lifestyle. Listen. This point, which is Nadlack in Hungary, so I can put my Cheers. car on a truck to Stuttgart because it needs a few edits and adjustments, plus some winter tires because the snow is coming. So I'm chilling in Nadlack. When I finish in Nadlack, and the McLaren, which is over there, is on the oh, truck. The McLaren. I'm going to get here in, in my, my garage. When you find out about these guys, they've rented everything. Nothing's in their name. There's like a million of these guys right now. They post videos. Check out my new house. It's just an Airbnb. Here's my Maserati. You want to get a Maserati like me? Find out. 600 a month. Aston Martin Vanquish S. Ultimate. Only 175 in the world. I'm going to drive to Cluj. Four hours drive. I'm going to chill in a five-star penthouse. Wow. Because this See? is my life. I ain't got a job. I go where I want, I do what I want. I'm like Indiana motherfucking Jones. Wow. Plus a bunch of sex and stuff. Hey, kid, want a bus ticket? That's Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones wasn't a snob, a rich snob. Well, maybe he was. Here. Cars. And I can afford to do this because I trade cryptocurrency. Oh! I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, ah, I don't know how to trade cryptocurrency. But you don't need to know how because you can copy me. If I make 100% profit, you make 100% profit. All uh. you need to do is watch my completely free webinar. Huh? Pause for a second. Let me, let me have a little bit of a 
cigar. Let me say that again. Wow. Oh. If you fall for this guy, you're really low. Like, what kind of guy? And he's doing, this is a guy who taught Michaela how to make that website. Yes, we have proof. So if you reach out to the right idiots, they're going to believe this. Because what guy would ever believe this? I mean, you got to be severely mentally ill. Look at this. This is a new low in human, someone's saying. Hey, I like profits. <laughs> Free, that's a great price. What's the catch? There's no catch. You're just his good friend now. Now the catch comes later. See, Michaela, there was no catch last year with Michaela. Remember when Michaela was making you fall in love with her for a year? There was no catch, right? Everything was free. Until there was a catch, the lion's lair. So these guys set you up, they get you hooked in, and then they give you, oh, wait, 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 you're missing the last ingredient, the key ingredient. That'll be 600. So they really get you right up to that line, and they then they- They make it so that you need them. Yes. Completely free webinar. You watch it. This is to get you in. Left until it expires. And then maybe you can stop being a bumble club <gasps> in the life of you. Wow. It has nothing to do with Romania. Stop being a bumble club. Now I sent you, if you go to my messages. Okay. That Facebook link right there. Disgrace book, as I like to call it, huh? So they met up. Here they are. This is them in Romania looking very happy about their new. He goes, you can make 600K in a day with your meat group. Look at that. There they are. And he's making this face like, like he's, he's jerking off a nine-inch cock. And there's Michaela looking small within his arm. So he's either a big guy or she's small, right? Uh, it's a different side of Michaela. The daughter is back at the hotel locked in a birdcage. Okay, so that's him. She said she liked top quality and meat. And we know that she is working with him because if you click that screenshot I just sent you, okay. sent in by Boris K, the uh, uh, the last thing. The last thing, okay. You can look see at that this. he uploaded her Vimeo video to her website, wow. the An Lion's Lair from Andrew Tate on Ooh. Vimeo. Lion's Lair from Andrew Tate. So he's Tate. doing this all for her. Yes, they are in cahoots and she's being trained by the Tate. So he met up with her and he tricked her. Wow. She might even be paying him to yes, do this. Yes, of course. And I put a link to his website in there Where's too. Where's this? Uh, just scroll uh, up a teeny bit. This oh, one? in the chat. Sorry. Oh, in the chat. In my chat. Okay, let's right see that. this. This one. Here we go. This is his website. So he <gasps> sells stuff like this. Look all at this. The time. So this is Tate's got a lot of businesses here. A PhD program, a war room, a war room trading academy, a fitness program, a body language program. Learn how to be a master at chess. chess. Oh my God. Why would he even put these all on the same page? <laughs> so he's got his hand in all this. Look at this. Iron Mind, a six-week mental training program. Network Brilliance, the energy circle of Instagram Supercharge. So she learned inner circle from him. So That's she is cool. now he's going into me. He goes, of M course, diet, music, video services, tactical wow. training. And it's got a guy looks like Louis J. Gomez with an AR operator, tactical training. So he's selling it all. Whatever he can sell. He's selling. Look at this Tate on women. Let's see this video. Here we go. Tate on women. If you don't mind, this is Michaela's coach. This is crazy. And he's not cool. He's like a total loser. He's got this one car that no one I've wants. I've got an unpopular opinion for you. Wait, is this the same guy? It'll be on my YouTube yeah. channel. You need to understand that I live in the real world. And the real world is sexist. And when I say that, people start freaking out going, you hate women. I don't hate women. I just think men are better than women wow. at certain things. And they happen to be the things that are extremely important for survival. How is Next Jordan Peterson got to get out of rehab and put a stop to this? She's ruining his name. I know. I was just thinking I can't that. trust Jordan Peterson if he allows this. That, that means Jordan Peterson is probably the same type of guy, a bad guy. A scammer. You would think Jordan Peterson would go, please, honey, I know you love Tate. I love Tate too, but this looks very bad to us. I mean, can't you have the whereabouts? If you're such a genius, don't you have the... It's like with Gavin McInnes. I, I, 
I don't mind you doing the Proud Boys. What I mind is that you thought you could do the Proud Boys. Like, what are you thinking? What do you think's going to happen here? So why are all the smartest men in the world making the dumbest moves? Next time a woman gives you that strong, independent woman bullshit, you need to remind her that less than 200 years ago, without a man in her life, she would literally die. Wow. Men hunted. Men are stronger. We can run faster. We can swim further. We can fight. Again, the bad Boris K checking his ATM balance here. <laughs> Whoa, got enough for this. Bad <laughs> Boris K is already hooked. He found a new show. There's a lot of things a man can do that a woman instinctively cannot do. And for a long period of this is history, if a woman didn't have a man, she would literally die and starve to death. So women need men for survival. Men don't need women. Yeah, we like to fuck women, and we need women to have babies. But in general, a this man is, can I'm survive sorry, Jules, on his own. that you have to hear a this. A woman can. It hurts. And if you look at the way the world is, this is why women are instinctively attracted to alphas or attracted to men with money or status, because women know they need to be provided for and cared for. Any real woman who's going to not come at you with this new age feminist bullshit is going to agree with you. She's going to sit there and go, yeah, you're, you're actually right. Women need men far more than men need women. And that's because men are physically superior to females. Jesus. And in the real world, you take away society, you go down to the very basic instincts of what being oh, a human I knew is. it. I was going to just say, I bet there's someone in the chat that goes, to be fair, dot, dot, dot. Here's one. Look at this. Uh, we're going to read this guy's name. Uh, quads. S-Y. Quad. S Y. He's not wrong. Oh, buddy. He's not wrong. This is the stuff I listen to every day. Ew! I don't even want to discuss this because if guys who like this kind of stuff are in here, that is so gross to me, and I don't even want to be, uh, I hate that you're even listening to a guy like me. <laughs> Yikes! He's not wrong. This is what I subscribe to. Are you sick? Are you really that pushed <laughs> out from society that this is what you've turned to? You know? How disgusting! So this is where Michaela is. She's with Tate. She's got the lion's lair. This has got Tate's name all over it. Now I'm starting to get a little bit worried about her. Of course she's in Romania. Imagine uh, the need to go to Romania to set something like this up. She and oh, talked yeah. her right into this. And now she's to do gonna lose layer. it all. You need to do lion's lair, bro. She was probably totally, totally fine with that stupid group. No, until he believe convinced me, her. she's been addicted to this cash ever since her dad got her established. Now remember, Jordan's Peterson, page, his Patreon. Jordan Peterson admitted this himself. Most of Jordan Peterson's Patreon went to Michaela. Last I checked, your Patreon was, it's its incredible, yeah. the amount of support. Yeah. Last I checked, it was at like 40,000. I don't know what it's at now. How has that money enabled you or, or changed the way you live your life? How What has that done for you? Well, I still haven't figured that out. I mean, right. it's enabled me to help my 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 kids get established in the city. So mm -hmm. that's been really useful. It so when you were donating to Jordan Peterson to get his feet off the ground he was using that money to and i quote establish michaela in the city yep she has a luxury condo down there that wasn't cheap that was about 569k <laughs> that he used right out of that patreon that was his first thing he loves his kids you know he's got another son that we've never seen yikes tate could be his fucking other kid for all we know this family, I tell you. All right, keep your eye on this. Let me know. I know the Bring Back group has been covered with this stuff, and I'm so glad that we finally filled you in because there's probably a lot of people like, what is all this Michaela stuff? I hope that was a nice rundown. Does everybody feel filled in? I think so. All right, can you repeat after me? Rolling with the homies. Can you do this? Oh, then you're fine. Okay. <laughs> Everywhere in LA is 20 minutes. All right, we're taking a quick little break. We'll be right back with the master of ceremonies himself, Josh Denny, everybody. Yup. Wow. And now you're under my control. We'll be right back. Mike Ga Go Ba Bad. That's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna lay my little paper down. Give it up to Ye and for putting this motherfucker together. Together, together. I don't have no fucking gold. I got platinum. No fucking gold. I got platinum. No fucking gold. Tap the skin. I'll be right back.